5 seconds one of the most complicated problems that india has been facing since the achievement of freedom is the language problem india is a land of diversity in every respect there are more than 200 languages in this vast country the constitution of india recognized as many as 14 regional languages it was necessary therefore for our leaders to decide upon a national language for the country hindi was the choice for the purpose and it was accordingly proposed as the national and official language but some of the states particularly those in the south opposed the imposition of hindi on them while the supporters of hindi have been demanding the replacement of english by hindi as the national and official language of the country in view of the realities of the situation the central government decided upon a three language formula according to this decision hindi will be the official language of the country but at the same time english will remain as an associated official language or as a link language the different states of the country will be free to correspond with the center in either of these two languages depending upon choice the arrangement will be allowed to continue as long as the anti hindi states of the country desire it as for the regional languages it has been decided to adopt them as media of instruction at all levels in the states the regional languages will also serve as the languages of administration in their respective regions apart from that people will be encouraged to learn one other indian language in addition to the regional language and the country's official language the three language formula is at best a compromise it is not an ideal solution the most miserable part of this decision relates to the chance in the medium of instruction from english to regional languages at all levels especially in view of the time limit of 5 to 10 years for this change most of the indian universities have by now adopted the regional languages as their media of instruction but the results of this change have been depressing there has been a big fall in the standards of education as a result of such experiments the mother tongue is no doubt the best medium of instruction for the early years of the student but english must be the language of universities in india if we want that india should not be divided into isolated regions besides the regional languages are not developed so as to serve the purpose at the university level textbooks needful for the purpose have not also been got ready research in sciences will especially suffer as a result of the adoption of regional language as the medium of instruction inter university and inter state conventions and conferences will not be possible movement of families from one region to another will not be advantageous to them educationally experts in legal medical and technological instruction are mostly of the opinion that the change over from english to regional languages will be a great drawback to the country because much of the latest knowledge in these subjects comes to us only through the medium of english the decision to treat hindi as the official language of the country and to allow english merely to remain as an associate link language is not a very happy one it must be realized that english is a unifying force in this country in fact english language has continued 
to become more and more important after independence under these circumstances there is no choice other than the continued usage of english for various purposes in the country the knowledge be understood in all parts of the country at least in the urban areas therefore the continuance of english in the capacity of the official language of the country as a whole is necessary better language than english which can link up the different states in india economically emotionally english is needed by india even for international conferences in this field again proficiency in english is necessary for an effective presentation of india's point of view the members of various delegations which have been going to the united nations on various occasions have done well by virtue of their excellent command over the english language the supreme court has underlined the fact that in many ways english is the most important indian language because it is the language of the constitution because it is the language of the supreme court and the high courts a leading newspaper has suggested that steps must be taken to see that the standard of english is not deteriorated further tamil nadu appears to be the only state in the entire country that has made any efforts to ensure that boys and girls leave schools with adequate command of both english and the regional language this has been achieved by introducing english from the third standard in primary schools measures india motor parts and accessories limited mount road madras dear sirs we have great pleasure in introducing ourselves as one of the leading transport organizations established under the cooperative sector we are maintaining at present 50 lorries which are required to ply all over the country carrying goods from place to place each vehicle on an average covers a distance of 400 kilometers per day in view of the keen competition in the field of goods transport we have made it a point of to pay greater attention to the upkeep of the vehicles but due to the bad condition of the roads in many parts of the country it is becoming increasingly difficult for any lorry to make a trip without considerable damage to its important parts several parts not only of the machine but also of the body of the vehicle require to be replaced more often than not we are therefore interested in establishing long standing business connections with some of the reputed dealers and of auto parts and accessories in the country for purchase of auto spares our annual indent for auto spares and replacements alone will be of the order of about rupees 10 lakhs the most needed spares are also auto cables shock absorbers oil filter elements piston rings cylinder liners bearings and other lubrication fittings we shall be highly obliged if you can send your latest catalog and price list on the above mentioned items together with the terms of supply we will welcome your readiness to credit line of business in our favor we see no embarrassment if you should choose to write to our bankers at the central bank of india bank street hyderabad for a clear appraisal of the soundness of our financial position besides having a huge workshop and repair shed in the autonagar hyderabad we have a network of branches throughout the country we shall be glad to furnish you any further particulars you may desire thanking you and assuring you that you will find in us the best of the customers you have ever had at any time in the past we remain yours faithfully